and it basically says it's a good medication for moderate persistent asthma and above. Um, I think the uh, beauty of it is that it um, seems to be simple to take and easy to take. So it's, it's just um, shouldn't take more than 30 seconds to take your medication uh, a day, maybe a minute. Uh, if you have another comment about it. Well, one of the other things is that uh, sometime in the near future, they keep putting off the deadlines, but uh, all the meter dose inhalers uh, up until the last few years were powered by Freon. And with the ozone uh, hole developing and uh, all the um, problems we have in the environment, uh, these are being phased out. The Advair doesn't use Freon, and this is one of the advantages of it. It's very easy to use. Uh, it seems to be very effective in the patients that I've used, but it's no more, it's, it's really just a long-acting beta agonist and an inhaled corticosteroid. What's interesting, it comes out in three strengths so that the dosage can be adjusted fairly well, and it makes you only have to inhale it once, twice a day, and uh, the prescription of that will save a lot of uh, problems with people who don't like to use their inhalers, and they don't have to use the uh, little... Uh, airway thing between the inhaler and that that would help yeah, one, I mean, one, one last thing though it has a counter on it so so that, that it will be helpful to anybody has to take the, those kind of inhaler medications so it, actually you'll know when it's empty instead of guessing yeah the numbers are on it correct there's another question our house is five years old should the air conditioner ducts be clean if so how often are you answered that during your talk but I think you may would like to repeat that. Uh, well, I know my standard advice is if you suspect that the system was not well maintained, um, you would probably get it cleaned if, if you thought it was dirty. Certainly if you had a musty odor. Uh, there's, um, if you had your system properly maintained from the um, beginning of the home, there, there may be no reason at all to clean it. The, the, the ducts should be clean, but you have to be cleaning your your, uh, your drip pan and, uh, and other parts and having the filters changed regularly. Part of the history taking in asthma is what factors influence your asthma symptoms. If the patient uh, says that I feel worse when I turn the air conditioning on or it has a bad odor, uh, some patients are very uh, sensitive to mold and uh, there's a condition called hypersensitivity pneumonitis which uh, is uh, related to aspergillus uh, fungus and other uh, fungi that can grow in, in air conditioning ducts, and those patients should definitely clean their, their ducts. That's a pretty uncommon disease, however. Yeah, an important thing, too, that was brought up is that asthma, the only symptom might be a cough, no wheezing or shortness of breath, and on exertion or with exercise, as you mentioned, you can have exercise-induced asthma, and this should be looked for. Uh, there's a question here on the dust mite control was told to put the pillows in the dryer for 45 minutes. They talk about washing something. <laughs> well, the, the, mite, uh, the mites live in the fabric deep in the pillow. So the if you, the idea is encase the pillow, then they can't crawl up out of the fabric into the um, pillow cover, I guess. The, uh, I don't know of any studies showing uh, the time of heating in a thick thing like a pillow that would be effective for killing dust mites. That would be speculation, a 45-minute uh, dryer cycle. I, I would think, it, from what I've heard, it would be at least an hour, but that, that would be uh, of the linens, not even a pillow. So I think you have, so the, the, the encasing seals them into the mattress, and then the hot water washes of all the coverings basically uh, kills the dust mites. And um, I and I don't know how much it